Hey there everyone, Sunil here with a quick tutorial on how to use the Oracle Apex 24.1's newest dynamic action called print report in order to generate a report using Apex Office Print. In the previous versions of Oracle Application Express, what you'd need to do is you need to go to our website, you need to go to downloads and you need to download the cloud packages or other packages and then import the PL SQL packages and the plugins into your application. However, with the latest version of Oracle Apex 24.1, it is now possible to use the new dynamic action to directly print using Apex Office Print. So I'm going to show you in detail what steps that you need to take in order to do that. First of all, what we want to do is we want to configure a remote print server. We can do that by going to our application definition. And on report printing, you will need to add a remote print server. In this case, we're going to use Apex Office Print. So this option is now available on Apex 24.1. So once we have that, we're going to give it a name, AOP Print Server. Static identifier is going to be AOP Print Server. So in this case, I'm going to use an endpoint URL of our API. I'm going to hit next. And afterwards, I will need to provide the API key. The API key you can find by going to apexofficeprint.com and going to your dashboard. You will see your API keys there. I'm going to copy and paste the API key from here into the API key of the remote server. I'm going to hit apply changes. So now my remote server has been configured and the next step is to create a report query and report layout. Okay, so I'm gonna go to shared components, report queries, and I'm going to create a new report query for this that is being used by this interactive report. So I'm going to copy this. I'm gonna go to report queries back, create a report query, and I'm going to name this projects. For the moment, I'm going to leave out the report layout as it is. Output format is going to be PDF. And I'm going to provide the SQL query that I just copied and pasted. And that's it. So I'm going to hit next and I'm going to create a new report query. Now that is done. If we were to look at the SQL query, we know that there is project, task name, start date, end date, and so on. So the next step is to go to report layouts, and I'm going to upload a template that I created. The report layout is going to be project layout, And I'm going to upload the project layout file just to let you know that the template looks like this. Okay, create layout. I'm going to go back to report queries and I'm going to go to projects and I am going to change the report layout to project layout. I'm going to hit apply changes. So now our report query and report layout have been created. What we do now is we go to the page one again where our button is located. And I am going to create dynamic action and I am going to take print report as the action. For report query, I'm going to select projects. I'm going to hit save. 
and I am going to hit run. And finally, of course, is the print. And when I press export, behind the scenes, what's happening is it's calling that project's report query. And here we go. As you can see, the report was exported successfully. However, in order to use other functionalities of Apex Office Print, for example, using only one tag in order to export the whole report, you will still need to use our Dynamic Action plugin. Hope this video was informative. Um, you can reach us at support at apexofficeprint.com if you have any further questions.